have a pretty girl doing this with me, but yeah, 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 whatever. I got this thing. It's my awesome, man. <laughs> Positive What's going on, y'all? It's your boy GP, and you're rocking with me on the Aqua Method Podcast. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter, Grasshopper GP, Instagram, Grasshopper GP, both the wish spelled normally, no special characters, numbers, emojis, underscores, anything crazy like that. It's Grasshopper GP, Instagram, and Twitter. Send me an email, Grasshopper GP at yahoo.com. Any types of sponsorships, advertisements, questions, comments, all the good stuff. Grasshopper GP at yahoo.com is a place to do it. If you're listening to this and watching this on Grasshopper GP official, that's Grasshopper with three S's because when I made the account, He's I, cu- stupid. I couldn't spell. Grasshopper GP official with three S's is the YouTube Ex- account. Explains a lot. Don't listen to this <laughs> ugly gorilla face man right here. It's your first time seeing him. Uh, British is the first person on the show. Uh, him and Trent was my uh, was my first two guests Where on is the show. Trent? Trent is in uh, Houston. But anyway. So I apologize in advance for this man's face. I'm sure he has two. I'm sure he has two lovely parents, but you know it skips a generation. This guy. Um, but anyway, it's good to have British back on. It's been a long time. It has been a long time. Yeah, the last time British has been on the show. Uh, this is British fourth time. Yeah. And uh, like I said, he was my first guest, and now this is episode 82, man. Good lord. 82 you, episodes. You in. need a hobby. This is my hobby. That's not this a good hobby. This is, how's it not a good hobby? This is a great hobby. <laughs> you have a lot of fun. 82 podcasts. Yeah, Jesus 82 Christ. weeks, man. 82 not weeks. Not bad, dude. Not bad. I appreciate it's it. It's not bad at all. I mean, I appreciate it. Maybe stay off camera for a while, but <laughs> until you can get that reconstructive surgery taken my care man. of. My man. So I can look uh, like you? Like, no. Go full not, eight? Not like me. Go full Cole Magnum. Yeah, just look at that. See that? Yeah, that's his natural state. <laughs> you know what's funny? He's got a son. He's got a son running around here. Uh, what's his name? Carson? Carson, yeah. Beautiful kid. Awesome. Got all his looks from his mother. He ain't got nothing from this dude. That's offensive. <laughs> nothing. Nothing <laughs> from this fella. That is horrible to even say. Yeah, nothing from Speaking this man. Speaking of, where is he? Let's call him. Over. Carson? Right here. Come see. You hear those footsteps? Come see. What's up, buddy? Want to be on the show? Come here. He's like, no, no, no. His own son's scared of him. Look. Remember, <laughs> don't mess with anything. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. I was at AT&T for a while, uh, for about a year. And they got then, tired of that face scaring all the customers away. No, I, the, it, I was in Opelousas, that's what it was, and mm. my face is nowhere near the faces that I've seen there. No comment. <laughs> no comment on that. Um, this won't be a ragging session. No, we we're actually really We're actually going to talk about some stuff, uh, but British is a cool dude, man. Um, I have to be. So, how do you feel about the Brexit, British? Brexit was... Kind of a dumb slash stupid idea. Kind of well, dumb slash smart idea. Mm. Cause one is dumb slash smart. Yeah, smart, dumb, dumb, smart, whatever. There you go. It kind of yeah. it kind of hurt the American economy a little bit too because they no longer can trade within the uh, Europe Asia or that they have to go through a certain third party I'm, I'm thinking of what it is I don't really know as much details as into it I'm really trying to stay out of politics mm-hmm. um, I, would, I didn't think you'd know anything about it I just I just brought it up that's because why, you're British that's why I deactivated my Facebook after Donald Trump was elected president deactivated for like a week since, since uh, you, do you hold dual citizenship or, or what? I do. I yeah. Do. yeah. So how, is that is the is the immigration thing uh, going to give you any issues or anything like that? God no. Well, I, I I've know. been here for way too long. Okay. For them to give, I have a green card, everything. So mm. the uh, you're stuck with me, America. Unfortunately. Get used to it. Oh <laughs> man. I'm coming for you all. <laughs> we will rise from the shadows. <laughs> from the shadows of the red coats. The Revolutionary War. He's still offended. He's still mad about that. I'm not mad about that because I wasn't a part of it. Yeah, he was. Um, so <laughs> why would I have to be mad? Anyway, British is a fan of the New England Patriots. I am. And they have made it to the Super Bowl. How I'm you feel gonna, about that? I will be there next week. You know me in Houston? Watching the Super Bowl. Oh, 
<laughs> Yo, for real? In the stadium. No, he won't. Yes, I will. Really? Do. Yes. Come on. Watching the stadium. Um, but yeah, I managed to swing that. Uh, I got us both two tickets. Uh, ticket prices was 2500 each. Crazy. So basically, you're going to get down there, eat, watch the game, drop out. Come on. That's crazy. I'm not, I am I mean, I'm not going to be drinking. I would rather drive the six hours there than drive the six hours back. But with the way I drive, it's probably going to be five and a half to five and a half each. Mm-hmm. So if they win, it's going to be a miserable. It's going to be one awesome, excellent drive home. If they lose, complete silence. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> that's funny. Well, that's dope, man. You're going to the Super Bowl. That's cool. Complete silence. Unless something changes, and my tickets like my tickets are there, paid for, mm. money out of my account. Right. If something happens to where we can't go, then it's like, well, shit, I have to put the money back into my account. But it, it's a surprise to her, so she really. Was well, her birthday coming up? Yeah, her birthday's on the twenty eighth. Oh, that's cool. So, which is Mardi Gras, so mm. it's it's a double whammy because mm. we're gonna get shit face drunk, and. He's going to be with the sitter probably for the weekend, so mm-hmm. screw it. Going to celebrate her 26th birthday and call it a day. Man, Bridge is going to the Super Bowl. That's dope, man. I would love to go to the Super Bowl. Um, I ain't like, yeah, you're right. I mean, since it's right there. It's yeah, that- buy me some red shorts so I can match the Patriots. Blue and red. The Patriots don't want nothing to do with you, man. They're like, okay. what? what is this creature? They don't want anything to do with any of their fans, but as long as they're getting the money <laughs> from the ticket prices, then they need to shut up and let me do what I want to do. What do you see, sir? How you see? Nosebleed, and I don't even care. <laughs> I mean, don't care. Yeah, 20, uh, so $2,500 Yep. So nosebleeds, man. That's insane. The highest ticket price that I've seen was three hundred and fifteen thousand dollars, and that's for the actual. Pr- that's for the box. Yeah. Up there, which I don't understand why people sit in there. They got TVs in there. Who cares? You're at the get. You're not no, at I mean, the game to watch TV. That's what I'm saying. You should be on the ground, right. Watching it live, not on the damn telly. Right. Right. <laughs> but so just, that, oh look, I have money. I can do this. You're stupid. I yeah. Because they're not watching the game. They be watching TV. Exactly. They get they, they get catering, but that's not worth the price. No one worries about catering. That's not worth the price. But um, so so you've been following the whole year. How you feel about the Patriots' chances? Ah, uh, they ha- they have to they have to bring their run stop defense. They bring their one stop defense and they stop Julio Jones. Then yeah, yeah bye bye. I just got some candy. Huh? I just got some candy. Some candy. Yeah. Okay, we'll get you some later. It's not fun. Okay. <laughs> I don't care. We what candy? All right, we'll get you some. Okay. Good play. <laughs> Don't break anything. Cause daddy can't pay for it now. Nah. <laughs> anyway, um, as long as they stop Julio Jones mm. and bring that run stop defense, I mean Malcolm Butler is phenomenal at stopping top receivers. Uh, of course, with help of Devin McCourty and Patrick Chung and Ron Harmon, so a bunch of different players. So it's gonna be that's gonna really affect it. Now. Tom Brady. I mean, there's really nothing else to say. Oh, yeah, he's, Tom he's, Brady. He's all time great. He's <laughs> all time great. But it, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome, man, because it's like it's a, it's a top de- it's a top offense, mm-hmm. top scoring defense, and uh, it's gonna be like I I hope it's a shootout, man. I want to see like a really stupid is. number. I, I do too. I want to uh, see a crazy number. I'm predicting it to be 31, 31 21 Patriots. Yeah. That's what you're hoping it'll be. That, that's what I'm hoping it'll be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, me, my second favorite team in the league is the is the Packers. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> little man brought some sour patch kids. This is what British looks like in the morning. <laughs> it's so good. I know. <laughs> okay, you will have it. He's on his phone and. He's not even paying attention. I'm looking. I'm looking up stuff for the show. Who looking up stuff for the show? This is freelancer shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's freelancer. You see this little man? Please don't knock down my camera. <laughs> don't knock it down, Mama. Leave it alone. 
I will lock you in the hot coal. I'm, I don't care. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> this is all on YouTube a, for everyone to see. He's <laughs> an awful father. <laughs> How are you gonna stay for the uh, towards the end? If, if the Patriots win, I'm sure you had to stay to, for the end to see if Roger Goodell the, the uh, give him the trophy. That's gonna be the best part. That's Roger Goodell part. handing Tom Brady the trophy. And I hope Tom Brady looks at him and says, "Who's who's your daddy?" <laughs> oh, he looks at him See, and like, and you know, I, this I, makes you my bitch, right? I want I want that to happen. That would that would be awesome to happen too. But they all act like this is some big uh, like a cathedral, and they got to be all prim and proper. Like just be be who you are. Have your have your original feelings and your original thoughts. Like yo, they you, hate each other. Yeah, just say it. Just say it. Just like yo, like you took me out of the, out of the league for four games. And I still won the trophy. Exactly. That's what I would say. Like it, you don't have to be disrespectful about it. Now I, I was just looking up some uh, some prop bets. I want to get your take on some of those. What but you um, got? but like I said, my my second favorite team in the league is a, is the Packers. Mm-hmm. I like Aaron Rodgers, but he let me down. So. Uh, See, see, I always root for the game, NFC team. That game, Aaron Rodgers' head was it wasn't in it. He no, was it, like yeah, he was. At, he played like a superhero against the Cowboys, and then like it felt like the whole team really just like they, they like the, the 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 heart wasn't in it. Nope, like, they, they didn't really care about wasn't. it as much, and they got they ass eight <laughs> by the Falcons. Were, after seventeen zero, I was like, um, this ain't a game no I, more. I was like, I want to play Xbox now. Right, it was a it was a boring it was a boring playoff to begin with. Outside of that Packers Cowboys game. Oh yeah. You know, um, that that needle throw for, uh, from Rogers to Cook. Yeah, that that was. Come on, good. man. And then Rogers running for Rogers running, and then getting a the call back from uh, face masking. Yeah. So, which I mean, they're both out of bounds. Just leave it going. Let, let yeah. them play the game. Yeah. And then you have Kansas City and Pittsburgh. So you're right. The very last play to where Kansas City could have came back and potentially won the game. Yeah. A ref calls holding on the left guard. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was holding. It, it was, wasn't holding at all. It was like barely holding something. He he did not hold him. Hands were. It's it's crazy how much I know about American football. Um, real football. Yeah, real football. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, British is also a fan of Liverpool. No. Liverpool. Hey, how, they how tied they with Chelsea. So, and Chelsea has been the most unbeatable team in the league. So, they beat them. That well, they didn't beat them. They tied with them. So I'm happy. That's what I, what I really <laughs> like about the the Premier League is the regulation thing. Mm-hmm. That'd be kind of cool I, if they had that in NFL. That'd be kind of dope. Like what was if, that? Like um, if you if you don't if you like the two worst teams, they can't play for like a year or something. Oh or they yeah. They have to go to like a uh, like a lower league or something. So the Cleveland Browns would be playing next year. Or, or the, for the following year. <laughs> for the following year. <laughs> Yeah, man. I mean, they they would still. I would, I would understand they would still be able to get their draft picks in, mm-hmm. but those players wouldn't be able to play for a, a year. Right, right. Which gives us cool. time, gives them time to rebuild, uh, probably change staff, all starting from the general manager down to the coach. So yeah, I think that that system would be that would if you implement that system into the American sports. Mm-hmm. It'll make everything more interesting because you you want your team to to perform well. That that takes away tanking. Exactly. You know, and you want you like the interest level would be higher because you'd be scared that your team wouldn't play. Definitely. You know, so that'd be kind of cool. And you know, like if you if you do that, you could do it easier in uh, in the NBA because they have the D league. You know what I mean? This isn't right. It says Apple passes Samsung for the best phone. In the world, no. <laughs> <laughs> British well, is well, well, right now because the the whole exploding Note yeah, sevens. Yeah, come on, man. But they did. There were some iPhone sevens that were exploding on people. You just didn't see them in the in the media because Apple knows how to hide that. <laughs> but um, we're not gonna get into the Apple. Oh God, no. by, The bias. best phone that's on the market right now is the Google Pixel. Is it? Yes. I've heard. Google Pixel, Google Pixel XL is the best phone on the market. Only thing is, it's like eight hundred dollars. Mm. So, so you can only get it at Verizon, unless you know how to unlock phones, so you can unlock it for any server. Um, 
Oh man, what was that restaurant that girl uh, that girl said? She was on your show one day. She was like a oh, that fitness was, CrossFit yeah, 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 uh, kind yeah. of girl. Yeah. Uh, um, what was the restaurant she was Bread saying? Bread and Circus. What's that? That's on uh, Pinhook. What is it called again? Bread and Circus. Bread and Circus. Yeah. That sounds like a outlandish name. <laughs> Bread and Circus. Yeah. Let's look that up, shall we? Because I was interested, and I just keep forgetting on what the restaurant is. Because she said it's a lot of healthy stuff and things it, like that. It was, there, right? it was, it was good. Like I think that if you if you're so used to eating like uh, fast food type pizzas, yeah, it's gonna be like a culture shock. Ah, I got you. Brand circus provisions. There you go. Oh, I'm actually nice. gonna um, I gotta email the owner because she uh, I talked to her, like I really like the vibe and that's so I wanted to get on the show. She said she was down with. I just got an email. Her. You forgetting, um, but yeah. So uh, while British is checking out Bread and Circus, let me tell you, please stop by Am Books Two, the comic book shop. That's where I'm recording at. Thanks, to Mr. Jeff, for letting me rock out here. Um, you see all the stuff behind me. This is the new stuff coming out this week. Um, stop by your local comic book shops if you're not in the area and support your local comic book shops. Thank y'all very much. They don't have Gundam Wing comics. Just to let you know for all you Gundam <laughs> fans out there. If you like anime, unfortunately. Uh, you will not find it here. No, because no. they don't. They don't have it here. It's all, but it's okay it's all though. They still have Flash, uh, mm-hmm. Marvel. Yep. Uh, DC. Yep. So anything else you can imagine? They got uh, board games, Warhammer. Yeah, uh, exactly. Little kid books, um, novels. Candy uh, that my son eating over there. Yeah. Drowning himself in Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> He's gonna so. be bouncing off the walls. British gonna have to deal with it. I'm going to the gym tonight, so mm-hmm. I don't have to deal with him. His mom has to deal with him. All right, but yeah, so uh, prop bets for the Super Bowl. Um, I believe there was one about uh, the over-under being 2 minutes 30 seconds on Luke Bryan singing the National Anthem. What would you think? <laughs> if Luke Bryan takes that long to sing National Anthem, then the two National Anthem minutes. should be at least a minute and 45 seconds. Just run through it, all mm. the important parts. The you whole song's at, not important. You mean at most? At most. <laughs> <laughs> whole song's not important. Eyes to win. Uh, Tom Brady leads the pack. Uh, then it's Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, and everybody else. Uh, I say give it to Julian Edelman. You think he's going to? Yeah. He's not getting the MVP, Julian, man. Julian Edelman works his ass off. He does. He works his ass he off does. to catch a- almost every pass from Tom. Now, granted, he does drop some passes. I'll give the ball to LeGarrette Blunt. He works his ass off, too. Or uh, hey, Deion there Lewis. We there we go. Uh, um, who else? Uh, Chris Long or Nate Soda. My turn at that, that lacrosse play into a hero. What's Chris his name? Chris Hogan. Hogan, yeah. So here's another one. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, over under total points after the first quarter, 13 and a half. I, I can see that, yeah. Um, odds on the Super Bowl going to overtime plus eight, 894. What? Well. Yeah, if we're, if we're looking for a shootout, it is going to be a shootout because I can see New England holding the lead first and then Atlanta just slinging one out there and bringing it into overtime. Uh, which team gets more sacks, New England or Atlanta? New England is, is the favorite. New England, yeah. They have they do have the top-ranking uh, score in defense, so, and their run-stop defense is phenomenal. Odds uh, uh, the defense scores a touchdown, either defense. Mm, I'm going to see... Over on the uh, Atlanta. Yeah? Yeah. Who throws more touchdowns? Tom Brady is the favorite. Matt Ryan. That's what I think, too. Yeah, I think Matt Ryan got Matt Ryan. Because, as I said, the New England's going to try to focus more on destroying uh, their run. Well, messing over Atlanta's run defense because it's really not that good. So, they're going to be more running a ball, short passes, uh, under undercuts things like that matt ryan is according to this matt ryan is more likely to is the favorite to throw more interceptions what you think yeah okay yeah. <laughs> who scores more touchdowns julio Devontae, Legarrett, chris hogan uh julian tevin coleman Deion lewis or muhammad sanu or everybody else everybody else because those all of those big names they're gonna be shoot they're gonna be out for them so yeah. they're gonna be out for them. So I see, I see everyone else scoring more touchdowns than those big names there, especially Julio Jones. Because who knows how many passes he he may catch? 
Who scores the first touchdown? Julio Jones, Devontae Freeman, Legarrette Blunt, or uh, Mohamed Sanu, Martellus Bennett? Devontae Freeman. You think so? I, I see. I see him. I see him scoring the first touchdown. I getting, bet it's Mohamed them. Sanu. You know what? I think because they're gonna take. They're gonna try to take out Julio. He, they're gonna try to take out Devontae. Yeah, and then Sanu has actually been sitting there in the shadows lately too. He's, he he's like yeah, he's just he, like the extra guy. He's like he gets the ball. He's like what the? Where the hell did he come from? What's he on the bench? <laughs> I thought he was on the sideline. Can I, can we get a replay? <laughs> Twelve <laughs> men on the field. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Uh, odds the odds of the coin toss. It's pretty much tied heads or tails. What you think? Tails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm 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 keep this and we're gonna see how, how right and wrong we are. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say. I'm gonna skip through the parts like heads or tails. Tails. I won. Got it. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say heads just because he said tails. Uh, da da da. What color will the Gatorade be poured on a w- winning coach? Blue. The I, the favorite is on, orange. Dad. It's always orange. Well, no, it was it was on, the Dad. it was a lemon lime flavor when Come they put on. it on Atlanta's coach. Come on. <laughs> Come on, it was a yellowish type flavor. Right. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say orange. Come You're on, right. Dad. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say red. You know what? I'm gonna say red. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with orange. You go with red. Uh, what color will uh, Bill Belichick hoodie be? Blue, <laughs> Blue? gray, or red? <laughs> Blue. Blue Come is on, a favorite. Dada. What? Come on. I'm coming. Wait. There's a. Uh, I won't get my drink. If you bet a dollar, you can get 150 dollars if there's a Come brawl on, on the field. What do you think? The thing is going to fight. But, but it probably a fight Come between Julio Dada. Jones and Malcolm Butler. I can see Come that. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Because Malcolm Butler will probably be all oh, talking smack and stuff. Because he's known for that. Or Julian oh. Edelman and whatever cornerbacks oh. hold him. Because that looks right. He's a bully. Yeah, he's mean. He seems like a scrapper. He is a bully. He seems like a scrapper. I, I watched the sound effects thing with him. And he told one, the, one of the cornerbacks, like, oh, I'm right here. I'm right here, Julian. He's like, if you have to say it, then you're not right here. Right. <laughs> what? Where are we going? Oh, give me a second. All right. Uh, there's, no, there's a 45 to 1 chance What's that it? a dildo gets thrown on the field. Yeah, I can see that happening. 41, <laughs> 45 to 1. Probably some, there's probably a New Orleans fan that's mad that the Atlanta Falcons are in the Super Bowl. <laughs> I th- <laughs> like I said, like I'm going to get a lot of flack for this one. I always root for the NFC team. Yeah. If, if the Saints ain't in it, I'll root for the NFC team. Like I said, the Packers let me down. The Falcons, the Falcons are in it, so now I gotta. It's, it's, it's the Falcons, man. But I like I, I want to. It, it's gonna be a good game. It I is. Just, I want it to be, be a good game. good game. I'm excited for it, and either way, I'm gonna be thrilled because <laughs> like you get the soap opera aspect of the Goodell Brady thing. Yeah. No, 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 no. You said you. you who'd you say you were hoping for? The Falcons. Cause I always root for the <laughs> NFC team. He likes it. He likes the Falcons. Mr. Jeff. <laughs> The uh the the showrunner here at don't Ambrose tell me too. he's a Falcons fan. He's a Falcons fan. Oh no! He's a. <laughs> anyone? If anyone wants a kid, um, just message me. <laughs> um, ah, this this is like I'm have like 45 minutes of footage to edit, and it's gonna be a 25 minute episode. <laughs> Because of all this cuts, all the cuts I have to do, and all the noise that I'm gonna have to cut out of this thing. I know, because you're a no- you're a noisy parent. <sighs> Little man, we're almost done. Over under on mentions of the flake gate, spy gate, four point five. Over. Yeah, <laughs> over. Because the announcers, the announcers are gonna talk about it every five minutes yeah. while they're doing it, and then uh, whoever, and then. If the Patriots do win the game, then you have okay. the post the post game. Then you have the post game where you talk about it. I'm gonna put you in the trunk. No. Right in the boot. No. Right in the boot. No. Over under Giselle gets shown on the screen. 1.5. Get what on the screen? Giselle. Uh Tom Brady's uh wife. Oh, yeah. Well, 
That's if they can find her. She's usually like ducked off until like the end of the game. <laughs> I, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be way over one point five. They don't show a bunch of times. If it, if it's like if it's a tight game, yeah. they don't show her, her emotion. If it's a clo- if it's not the tight game, they don't show. Her, I guess just her, sipping her and the kids Chardonnay or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> sipping Chardonnay. I mean, she gonna be in that box, man. She gonna yeah. she ain't drinking no beer. You never know. You never know. You think Giselle's a beer drinker? Probably so. I mean, Giselle's she, not no she's not modeling drinker. anymore, so. Giselle is not no beer drinker, man. We are at we are at thirty five minutes right now, and I swear, fifteen minutes of getting cut out of this thing. Solid, <laughs> easy. Dude, you can get approved for a five k credit line with a black card. That sounds like a bunch of bull mess. It really does. <laughs> Odds that Rob Gronkowski plays in the Super Bowl a thousand to one. Yeah. Unless he magically, unless his back magically just absolutely heals all of a sudden, then he's gonna no. be in the box with Giselle. But he's gonna be drinking a beer. He's gonna be. He's gonna be super wasted. <laughs> he's gonna be. He's gonna be. He's gonna be just as drunk this. as Robert Kraft was whenever they won the AFC Championship. He was drunk. He was he. I didn't notice. Dude, he's his arms were shaking with the trophy, eyes bloodshot red. Come on. It wasn't old age. He was just wasted. Yeah, <laughs> what? That's good. If you're on the team and your team is is uh, a champion. And is going to the to the D championship game. Yeah, man, get sauced up. I mean, it's your stadium. You own everything. Yeah, that's true. I would get sauced up. That is true. But, but you are the public face, too, though. He is. Yeah, so you don't want to be you don't embarrassed. Well, you just be embarrassing yourself because the Patriots and Gillette is all you, right? Bill Belichick tells him what to do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Belichick's the boss? Hey, Bill Belichick's the boss. Mm. Bill, hey, Rob, uh, I need you to... Uh, yeah, slap your wife for me. All right, bye. <laughs> uh, baby, come here, please. Um, just one, one second. Uh, and this Mac. Don't what worry about it. Before? He's watching. <laughs> so watch it. Man, I keep messing myself up in the gym. I don't know what happened here. I go to gym every day. It's just become part of my life. Um, odds on uh, Michael Vick getting mentioned one point five. <laughs> Vic's not. Vic's name is nowhere near mentioned. Ah man, one point five. He's gonna get mentioned twice, man. He needs it. He just needs to retire. He he isn't. He hasn't retired officially, has he? No. <laughs> I don't think he's going to until he proves to an NFL team that he's a valued quarterback. Uh, times uh, the word the phrase "dirty birds" gets said two point five. Way too much. It things will get said much. less than that. Yeah. Oh man, they gonna say "dirty birds" a bunch of times. You don't see it over three times. Well, and the commercials too, because you have your KFC commercials, you have your Popeyes commercials, you have your Trish's Did you see that Popeyes commercial with Jerry Rice? Yeah. And him wearing that, that helmet? Yeah. With that, that chicken just hanging on the helmet? He looks stupid. Come on, Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody in that focus group was like, yo, this is this is in poor taste, man. Well, the, the numbers ran. It's like, we ran the numbers. It's like, apparently your numbers are wrong. Yeah. Either that or, we just, or this is just a nation of blatant races. That's just like these companies. Like, uh, awful. This, like Verizon. Verizon say only about on, on, as much data as some people use. They use about five gigs of data. Wrong. <laughs> I use I use over five gigs of data, and that's within a day. You don't use you don't use over five gigs of data in a day. Stop it! What you doing on the phone using more than five gigs of him and his games and all that other stuff? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. And he even has he has a tablet with unlimited data on it because I got it when I worked at AT and T. But he decides he wants to use our phones because mm. he always burns the battery down on the on the tablet and then. Cries about it. Odds on uh, Dan Quinn <laughs> wearing a hairpiece during the game, fifty to one. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true. What the f- is going on with that? Odds on uh, Joe Buck and Troy Aitman being seen on screen, four point five. Yep. Over under. Uh, I'm gonna go under. Cause why are they why are they even at the game? They're not they're, they're not doing the broadcast. I know Buck. I know, I know Buck is, but why would Aikman be there? I thought John Gruden would be there. No, John Gruden. That's ESPN. You sure? 
Yeah, John Gruden's ESPN. Oh, okay. This is uh, Buck and uh, Aikman or uh, Fox. And this is oh, a yeah. Fox so Buck. This is going to be on Fox. I don't think ESPN. When was ESPN's last time having a Super Bowl? I don't know. Let's look it up. What are you doing for the Super Bowl? I mean, I mean, like, are you have an after party after, after the game they win, or? Uh, my after party is gonna be in back in the car driving home. <laughs> Cause I'm sure it's gonna be something cracking off, man. Oh yeah. I mean, it's Texas. I mean, I have friends that live in Texas, so we have a place to crash when we get down there. Right. It's just about. It's just a fact of. Go ahead, you can take it. Hey. You should have gave them that earlier, Good man. Game. Go sit and play your game. Get out of here. <laughs> you should have gave him that earlier. Well, he was being good until he got candy in thought of him. Oh, let's talk about the halftime performance with Lady Gaga. Yeah, Lady Gaga. Yeah, how you feel about that? I think it's going to be kind of epic and sappy at the same time. <laughs> There's a 25 to 1 chance that somebody catches fire during the performance. Performance according to this. That's some bad power techniques, and they need to be fired if that happens. Um, number of guest performance, uh, over is over one. Yeah, it's gonna be over one. She knows a lot of people. Odds on uh, Lady Gaga's opening song during uh, halftime. Uh, Edge of Glory, Perfect Illusion, Born This Way, or anything else. It's gonna be Edge of Glory. Yeah, that's a perfect. It's song gonna be Edge of Glory. Glory. Odds on a commercials period, uh, parodying uh, Donald Trump, one one uh, one point five. Oh, that's gonna be tons of those. You think so? Yeah. But they, they made these commercials way way in advance. Like they might have made it before you even got elected, before they you even won a nomination. Not a lot of people like him. I know not a lot of big names don't like him. Over under commercials feeding featuring uh, featuring featuring Peyton Manning. Yep, all states. Um, they're gonna run that commercial nationwide. Too many times. Nationwide. Papa John. Papa John's. That dude's getting money, boy. Um. What else? I mean, he and his brother are gonna be in the same t uh, on the TV as well. So they're both sitting at home watching the game. Let's talk about Brett Favre making a comeback to the NFL. Do we see it happening? No. Why? Brett Favre is 50 years old. He's not. So coming what? Back. He's not coming back, man. <laughs> Why, like, why did you bring that up? Do no, you I feel do, like that's, I, that's news or No, something? but I do see him going coach uh, college football. Oh, oh, that coming back to football. I, yeah, I, yeah. I can't, I can't yeah. see him coaching a college football team because I know he coached high school yeah. football. But I do see him coaching, going up to the next level and coaching college football. Probably at like in LSU or – no, not LSU. He's not going to LSU. No. Mississippi State. Probably maybe. like Mississippi State. Hold up. Can we just one thing before we get out of here? Mm. Yo son made all that noise with that soda, and you drinking the soda. <laughs> hey, you want my big drink? It's gone now. Here's some more. Yeah, drink it. Go back and play. So weird. High five. High five. Yeah. Hey. Go play. <laughs> oh man. I just want to put him in the trunk. I, all I want to do is put him in the boot of the car. Yes, I will put baseball on for you in the car. British, do you want uh, the viewers to, to, uh, to reach you in any kind of way? Instagram, Twitter? Something um, like that. Do you have anything like that wait, you want to tell me? I have to look at all of my handles because I really don't know them all. <laughs> Son, I love you, but you are the worst person ever. <laughs> my Insta my Instagram is Josh eighty eight oh seven. If you want to follow me on there. Um, as always, y'all, you can follow me on Twitter, Grasshopper GP, Instagram, Grasshopper GP, both of which spelled normally. No special characters, numbers, emojis, underscores, anything crazy like that. Grasshopper GP, Instagram, and Twitter. Email is grasshoppergp at yahoo.com. Questions, comments, uh, advertisements, sponsorships, all that good stuff. Please don't touch that. <laughs> and uh, you're listening to this and watching this on Grasshopper GP Official. I'm not going to do it again. I want to see it, too. You're going to see it in a little bit, You'll little see bit. it in a little bit. I'll show it to you later. Don't touch don't it. Touch. Don't, don't touch it. Don't touch. Put it down. Now the camera's just directly on me, <laughs> which, is, which is okay because I'm better looking. No, you're not. Dude, we had this debate already. Oh.
We had this debate. Yeah. I'm a lot better looking. Yeah, yeah, you're about to say I'm ugly. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're uglier than me, indeed. <laughs> you're listening to this and watching this on Grasshopper GP bye Official. Bye. That's Grasshopper with three S's. Grasshopper GP Official, three S's is the YouTube account. Your boy GP, British. Wait, you could have son. Ed, you could have edited the way you spelt that. And you just you decided to keep it. Well, now now I decided to keep it. You can't change your username on, on YouTube. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. I've changed mine plenty of times. Stop it. So I'm about to check it out. He then. just doesn't know what he's doing. I didn't know. Well, well now I'm keeping it. Um, it was fun talking with you guys. Yeah. Um, please don't judge me on the comments I made about my son. <laughs> Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing all these comments. <laughs> it's your boy GP, British. British son Carson. And no, ladies, I'm not single. Sorry. Lucky, lucky for y'all. I'm going to wake up next to this eight man. Anyway, y'all be good.